All right, 12 19 p.m. And meteorologist Cedric Haynes is in our storm alert center. Cedric, let me tell you something. Yes. Winter coat to start the day. Granted, mm -hmm. I start my day pretty early. Yes. <laughs> don't need a coat. I don't need a coat right now. Right. Two parter, two parter type of day. That's right. That's why it's always important this time of the year. We call this the dress and layer season. Okay. Yeah. You want to make sure you have layers. You know, when you send the kids off to school, you know, you got to have the hoodie, but tell them to wrap it around, you know, do the little tie around their waist. Oh, yeah. That way they don't leave it at school because you take it off, right? Because it's, it gets a little warmer. But that's the type of weather we like to see around here when it starts off very cold like this fall. Temperatures in the mid 20s in many spots this morning, even in Chattanooga, dropping down to 29 degrees. Of course, uh, we've been colder this time this year. Year, but uh, still, it's still cold whenever you see those temperatures drop below 30 degrees out there. You've got to bundle up. But now we've gone from 29 in Chattanooga this morning to 50 degrees this afternoon at the lunchtime hour, and we will likely continue to climb. It's in the upper 40s in many other spots, 46 in Blue Ridge, 47 in Athens, 49 in Calhoun, and 47 degrees currently in Fort Payne. But let's take a look at the national temperature map because this really tells the story here. We've got kind of the last of this cooler air mass trying to hang on into the Tennessee Valley, but it is going to be retreating as we go throughout the day. And look at the warm bubble of air that's building off to the south and west where we have these temperatures well into the 60s. And Believe it or not, I do see 60s in our future, in the near future, actually. And that's the next big thing to talk about here. A warming trend that's heading our way as we go into the rest of not only this afternoon, but the rest of the work week and right on into the start of the weekend. All right, let's talk about the rest of your Thursday first because we're going to have lots of sunshine out there. A couple of more high clouds will build in as we get late into the afternoon, but it still should be a pleasant afternoon across the area as those temperatures climb into the mid to upper 50s, nearing 60 degrees. We may not make it to 60 today, but I don't think that's going to be the end of the warmth that we're expecting across the area here. So as we talk about your forecast going into this afternoon in your neighborhood, how about temperatures climbing to about 58 in Cleveland, 58 Blue Ridge and Murphy, 59 in Dalton, 58 Fort Payne, 54 in Altamont, and 57 degrees in Dayton. Now, while it will warm up this afternoon, it will get cold again tonight. Not as cold as last night, but we will drop back down into the 30s across the area. Low to mid 30s expected across most of the Tennessee Valley, but the warming trend will continue. How about low to mid 60s for your Friday with that sunshine and low 60s even heading into your Saturday? Not bad at all. Notice it does get a little cooler just in time for the second and half of the weekend as our next weather maker approaches the area. So high pressure providing us with that sunshine. But again, some of these high clouds will filter in later this afternoon, but it will not block the sunshine. This front to the north will stay to our north, so we don't have to worry about that. All eyes will be on this storm system. It's a complex system off to our west, and that will be our next weather maker. But there have been some changes with this system that we've got to talk about. So for your Saturday, get out there and enjoy it. Highs in the low 60s should be a pleasant day. Sunday, we will be expecting again a chance of showers developing late in the day, but even the first half of the day will be dry, but it will be a little cooler. Now let's talk about this next weather maker because it's an upper level low that's going to get cut off from the main storm track. So that means it's just going to kind of meander towards the south and east. And some of the latest data here is trying to indicate this may take a little more southern track. What does that mean for us? Well, if it does take that southern track, it would keep most of the rain showers just to our south. So we see some clouds, breezy conditions, but primarily dry. Now there is still some data that's trying to bring some of the rain our way. So for now, we'll keep the rain chance in the forecast, but I'll tell you, it does not look like a major rain event by any means. and looks like we're just going to kind of get some light rain from time to time Sunday into Monday, and then that system will be out of here and we don't have to worry about it. So to kind of verify, you can see the heaviest rain from I-20 and point south, and these rainfall totals continue to drop right now, looking like maybe a quarter of an inch to up to a half an inch at the most. So again, some better news for us heading into our weekend. Here's a storm alert seven day forecast and Paul. We're talking about lots of sunshine and pleasant weather the next few days. Look at those temperatures climbing into the 60s. Breezy conditions by late Sunday into Monday with a few rain showers. It'll be a little cooler, but overall these temperatures all the way through the next seven days at or above average.